get in there with our traditional fondue for Valentine's Day. Wait, I want to... We decided that fondue would become our official Valentine's dinner for the rest of our lives. Ooh, hell yeah. Because we decided that we had fondue last year, and this year I, just, I thought of fondue, and then I realized that we had it last year, so... This is the beginning of the tradition. So kids, if you see this portion that I'm cutting off... <gasps> Don't <laughs> say that! So kids, if you see in this portion, then... You'll know where this tradition started here. Actually, it started last year on February 14th, our first year together. And it's 2012 right now. Yes. So let's see what we got so far. This is our apartment. Likely where you were conceived. Do you want me to cut these in half, you think, or? Broccoli. Do you want to leave them whole? Tomato. Bell peppers of three flavors. And Michelle will cut up these delicious apples, Granny Smith, and in the middle is pineapple. There's our lazy cat. Do you want to um, cut those little smokies in half or keep them whole? Oh, whole. Yeah. Whole's fine. Yeah, they're big. I think I'm going to warm them up a little. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't need a lot. Not right away, anyway. Oh, wait. Okay, so are we pretty? We're pretty this year, are very pretty. Go. You're gorgeous. You're more than pretty. No, I just meant like we're ready to... I know what you meant. I was interjecting a comment. Liquid. Some of the... Oh. What are you putting in there? Hmm? What's that for? This is the liquid to help melt the cheese. <laughs> so. We're going to start adding it little by little. Because we got to melt it slow or else it'll get tough. Yes. Here. Hey, buddy. You are so beautiful. I'm not sure. A Gruyere and half a pound of Swiss braided. <gasps> Quit it. You know how what? hard that is to grate? Why do you think it tastes so good? And then we've got our dippers for the cheese, of course. We've got pineapple. This Valentine's Day. Lemon gets cooked in with the thing. Tomatoes. Perfect size. Broccoli. Jalapeno bread. Peppers. Oh, you got a three pack? I didn't really sold them like that. Five bucks for three. Dude, I pay like five bucks for one. And then I bought these little... I got cheddar <laughs> little links. And little smoky smoked sausage. Oh, I love but then those things. I forgot we had those cheese hot dogs we could use too. Oh, we still got those? Yeah. Okay. So the same thing? Kind of. Pretty much. Oh, the cheesy and the non cheesy. Cheesy and non cheesy. Ready. Oh, and apples. Oh, yeah. To do the sweet and savory. Look I at got a pink lady. A Granny Smith because they're the best. Okay. I got two pink ladies because they're a little small. Mm. So. You want to put the camera down because we got a lot of cutting up to do here, mister. I can't stop looking at you. Well, you can look at me and cut stuff too. Get to work. I got a pocket, got a pocket full of sunshine. I got a love and then I know that it's all my own. By the way, the radio's playing like all love songs. And some are jilted love songs like Adele. So never gonna break me yo. Whoa. I call this a jump rope. You tip. Do the shopping cart. Oh no. Oh, no, no, no. oh sorry, baby. Your dad may be older than me, but there's a few things he don't know yet. Like what, <laughs> like what stereo is. True. <laughs> That's I'm why I like sure you. You're so know. smart. I'm gonna make sure you kids know what steno is. I'm Thank you. Teasing. You don't have to say that, baby. I know you're teasing. I know. My kids don't. I guess. We're, we're making new videos before you're even born. I know, isn't that cool? Before you're even conceived, as far as we know. So you can see where our traditions come from. We just came up with this in the last place that we lived, and it was a lot of fun. We had everybody together at the time. Today it's just me and your mom. And well, I'm trying to help you document. Look at this cheese. Ooh, damn. Mmm, fondue. I don't even know what fondue was before I met you. I'd heard of it, but I'd never tried it. 
He still doesn't know what the secret ingredient is yet, but it's. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh, it's being cooked. It's a cooking bowl. It's being cooked right now. So, Jacob. Yes. Dude. You have no idea what the secret ingredient is. Dude, I am totally stumped. You're totally I stumped. No idea. I have no idea. I'm gonna put the bread on. <laughs> I stumped him. He has no idea. I love surprises, though. How beautiful. It doesn't exactly match up. Yeah, uh, it's the one it goes with. If you're more comfortable, use this one. It's just um, probably going to be a little harder to... Here, hold this. We're just about ready to go. This is fondue cam. <laughs> hey, kitty cat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally lost. Okay, I just like take pictures on the camera. Yeah, if you can get that blanket, please. Oh, it's the fishies. I don't even know what these are. What's up, Vance? Yeah, we're nerds. We got a picture, a map on the wall. Ooh, okay. this looks yum. <laughs> you are so gorgeous. Let me get some of those eyes. Can I want to get some video of you. What? I gotta be in this? Uh, yeah. You guys don't wanna see me? If you, uh, you wanna make <laughs> videos about our lives and non that includes man. you. I am non photogenic. No, there's a fish tank back there. I know, right? We got a cool fish tank. The We've Axo, got... which we'll probably still have. Yes, we will. It's an Axolotl. Because they last like 10 years. They live. He's called an Axolotl. It's an underwater cool. salamander that didn't develop his um, thyroid. Thyroid's in the throat. It regulates like your body's hormones and stuff. This is broken, so he doesn't grow and evolve just like a normal salamander. Normally, you see him looking at me. He almost never moves. Now he's staring at me. His head went like. Huh? Zoom in. His um. Usually they they crawl out of the water, and then they they're land creatures, salamanders. But since he's got a busted um. Uh, thyroid he'll always be in the water and he'll always be like a tadpole I don't know how long they live did they ever tell us how long they live flame is dying mm -hmm. for the fondue our flame will never die for the fondue you are looking at your parents <laughs> Before you were ever born, your mom's not pregnant. She will be, but not right now. This is us before you were born. Kids Something free. my parents never gave me. I don't know what my parents look like before I was born. I have no idea what they look like. There's not even a picture, really. Not even one. This is our life carefree, eating fondue, kitties young everywhere. And crazy. While I'm young. I work on the internet. I make all my money online. I bring home about $2,400 a month or so. But the problem is I don't ever leave the house. That's going to change. But, well, I, I leave the house, of course, but... Rarely. Most of the time I'm here. So when you're born, I'll be here all day taking care of you. He's going to be missed for mom because I work outside of the house. And I raised two baby girls in another relationship. Who you'll know. They'll be Ryan and Haley. Mm -hmm. They'll be adults by the time you meet them. Hey. Hi. <laughs> These girls are making their birthday cakes. And Ryan's gonna cook it, and Haley's gonna help. And then Ryan's cake's in the oven. That's Haley's. Oh, wait, that's Haley's cake. It's in the oven. 
And Brian's cake's gonna be next. And we're rocking out, of course. Look it, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go away now. Haley, did you hear her say you were hurting her? <laughs> Alright, we gotta make... Ryan, come here! No! Ryan, come here! Time out! How about you go get her and I'll stay right here. Wait, you stay right here and I'll go get her. Yeah. If you close that gate, you gotta make sure it's closed before you walk away. Okay. Stop Two times you've... <laughs> well, these are memories. You're gonna grow up someday and I'm never gonna get to see little Ryan again. These are precious memories. <laughs> my babies. <laughs> You can't hide from me. <laughs> Ow. I think I got a splinter. Ow. You gotta be careful, man. You alright? <laughs> Let go of my shirt, Haley! Let go of her shirt, Haley. Thirteen, and well, Haley's thirteen. I think Brian's fourteen right now. Well, Ryan is in eighth grade right now, and Haley's in fifth. So that'll give us a timeline. I got millions of pictures of them when they were growing up, so you guys will be able to see those. They'll be like your stepsisters. Yeah. So, Anyways, it's hard to see what life's gonna be like in the next what. By the time you're seeing this, you'll probably be about 10. Which mm, means. They might be a little older before they're interested in this. Let's see, what is this? life like right now? <clears throat> we have the internet, which is only about 20 years old. You'll be born into the internet, so you'll never know a time before the internet. <laughs> but both of us do. Yeah. We were born before the internet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Especially your dad. I was here before cell phones. <laughs> He was almost here before TV. <laughs> Look. Watch your language, man. <laughs> Look. Beep, beep, beep. I couldn't resist. TV was admitted 30 years before I was born. So he said. <laughs> your mother I and I are 10 years I apart, tease. so she's always trying to tease me. About being old. <laughs> I will never be old. I, can't I make a gray hair, but I will never be old. And I'm always going to learn your lingo. That's right. Dad's going to be embarrassing you. Oh, please. You didn't know what no homo meant. That's because I don't watch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's how you stay in touch, silly. When did that come on? What, what program was that? Dude, that was like two years old. At least. What was it from? Funny or Die. Funny or Die just came out. Nah. -uh. Two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Give me a break. I didn't know one thing. I know everything else. Oh, Example. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me think of one. <laughs> let me see if I can think of one of the newer ones. You're so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. HDTVs just came out five years ago? Uh, maybe a little longer. About oh, five years ago. They're just now getting into the 3D technology. Just getting in. Mm -hmm. But I have a pair of 3D glasses I bought from online. Yeah. And they suck. Right. But as far as 3D technology on what you can get at home, it came out before that. So one day. 
3D technology Earthquake. still. You can go to the theater and, and watch the crap out of some 3D movies, though. From uh, everything from IMAX to uh, what is it called? Real 3D? Real D? Real D? Real 3D. That's what By all the time you guys it. are 10 or 11 years old, they'll probably have holographic videos. All or the something. TVs will be 3D. Everything will be 3D. Either that or it'll die off and you'll be like, what's 3D? <laughs> Like I, some I 50s doubt thing it. They're that came out. They're turning everything and, into 3D. Well, 3D came out in the 50s with the glasses, the red and the blue. That's true. And it was cool for its time. Then they had the uh, those little... Uh, know, the the viewfinders. The viewfinders. And they were... That was hot. It was called uh, scopic. Something scopic. But it was two pictures, slightly offset. So when you looked at it, the brain put it together as a 3D picture. So, Mario was cool back in the day. And Go 3D back. now is actually pretty realistic. That I'm grand, you're... Mm, that was good. Mm. Mm. We need to watch this on Valentine's Day in like 10 years. <laughs> yeah, totally. There's a possibility you were conceived tonight. Just saying. I'm sure you don't want to know that. And you'll probably never see this, but just in case. <laughs> we're totally planning on having you, and this is our video we're making for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And there will be many more, and you will be forced to watch them. So let me give you, if it's a boy, if you're a boy, I don't know yet, because this is the past. <laughs> 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 if you're a boy, we're going to name you Jericho. That's my name. Middle name? Middle name? No, no, no. Do you know how many people love the name Jericho? No. It's unusual. It's, like it's, it's starting to pick up, actually. A lot of people are starting to copy it, but... Jericho's an awesome name. No, it is. I just don't want our kid to feel like he's got to be a junior. You don't want to be a junior. I also don't want people to call him junior. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about we still got. We're still in negotiations on your name. I really like the name Madison for a girl. I like Madison. You do? I do. I've wanted to name my daughter Madison since I was like 12. If we can name the boy Jericho, you can name the girl Madison. So it's a negotiation, is it? A negotiation? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going to find out who wins. It's not even about, like, I don't want to name the boy Jericho because it's my name. I want to name the boy Jericho because, man, that opened some doors for me. Like, people were just like... They saw your name on an application. I would get called in right away. And every time I got to the job, they were like, I just liked your name. So that's why I called you in here. And then I'd wow them. You know, you got to keep your name meaning something. Yeah, but he, we could still call him Jericho, even if it's his middle's name. But he's still not. Well, I don't know. We'll talk about it. We'll see what well, we well, what are you thinking for a boy? What's your, what's your uh, top pick at this point? For a boy... I swear to God, you name that boy something stupid, and he gets teased. Uh, <laughs> I like the name. I will help him get Tyler. a name. Tyler is kind of cool. I don't want a normal name. Tyler's a street I used to get off on. Like, there's no name street names out there, Jericho. There isn't. You find me a sign, I will unscrew that and take it on. <laughs> <laughs> there is no Jericho. Oh, sign. Bull I'm pretty there's sure a Jericho, Texas. I'm pretty right? sure there's a Jericho Lane in Benz. Mm -mm. That's a challenge. We're Googling it right now. You want some food? Is it food time? Is it food time? Lexi, you want some food? We're getting it out of the can. <laughs> you guys look excited. You want some food? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
kind of Aww, blue. I want to get Lexi to see her. Oh, I want to get Lexi. Lexi! All on the pretty bead. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> what? This like, is so crazy. Where'd you go, man? <laughs> <laughs> That's Chewy. He may not be alive by the time you see this. That's our first hamster. It was. A birthday present to Michelle for me. He's the coolest hamster ever. Until he pees on you or something. Hey buddy. <laughs> I'll have another one. But I miss this one. This one's the coolest one. Look at her, she's all up in the camera. <laughs> uh, I'm working man, I'm working. I gotta go help your mom. Okay, let me put this one back. Oh man, it wasn't even recording. He's up there with one toe. Mm -hmm. One toe. That was hanging off. <laughs> that is wicked, man. He literally just got one toe holding on to the rock and holding his whole body afloat. Fishing here, I can't catch. I've got a dozen Maltec oysters that need shut. Thanos, take it away. Thanks, Matt. Everybody loves Maltec. These East Coast oysters are salty, crisp, and freaking cloud chasing, bro. Okay, here's how you shot an oyster. Using protective gloves, Catheter and oyster holder with a hinge facing the outside. Stick in your sharpening knife near the hinge and really work that blade into the hinge. Once the blade is in, you twist it. <laughs> Drive the blade along the roof of the shell, severing the muscle, releasing the weight. It's gonna take some practice, but what doesn't, right? I'm gonna be honest with you, Ken. Me and my wife gave our business to you. It took some practice to compartmentalize. But look at us now. Well, we've been happily married for six years. Tomorrow, I need 
But I'm not 21. Damn. <laughs> I'm getting up there. I'm about to die. <laughs> I'm going to start deteriorating soon. <laughs> There's actually 830, but they're still approving them. And we're starting off on this day of... Come on, man. Tell me what day it is. Sunday, March 11th, 2012 at 1039 p.m. Good night and 